Hello, I'm Mark Coker, one of the master black belts at SixSigmaTV.net. Today we're going to talk about hypothesis testing. One of the key deliverables of any analyzed phase is the identification of root causes. Hypothesis testing is fundamental to understanding if the potential root causes are actually critical to our process performance. Hypothesis testing is used to test whether our sample population is the same or is different. Because we're using sample data, rather than the entire population, there is a risk that we will arrive at the wrong conclusion based on sample data. The statistical term for the probability of not accepting our hypothesis when it is in fact true is called alpha risk. Common practice is to set that risk threshold at 5% or 0.05. In cases where we have life critical applications such as aerospace or in medical, uh, we can set that lower. In hypothesis testing, the null hypothesis is what you attempt to prove. The notation for this is H sub zero. Its counterpart is called the alternate or alternative hypothesis and it's known as H sub A. Statistical packages provide a, no a number known as a p-value during hypothesis testing. This is compared against your alpha risk to determine whether or not to accept the null hypothesis. Each test of hypotheses has its own nuances with regards to setup, and we'll look at those during, as we explore different tests. But the basic approach is the same regardless of the test. If the p-value is less than the alpha risk, then you do not accept the null hypothesis. Or as is often heard, if the p is low, the null must go. Once again, I'm Mark Coker with SixSigmaTV.net. For more help with hypothesis testing, please contact us at SixSigmaTV.net.